Hello and welcome to Database Management Systems. I'm Javita Christine and in this video we are going to create uh, an employees database that afterwards we'll be using for all the upcoming videos to perform SQL queries. And if you would like to know what this database looks like, it has four tables, employees works on projects and departments. And in my video on ER models, I explained this uh, database in detail and I also created an ER diagram for the same using draw.io. So I have linked uh, those uh, that video down here. So if you would like to um, understand before beginning what the database is, then uh, you can watch that video. And if you already know it, uh, we'll just begin by creating this uh, database right here. Now there are four tables, so I'll be creating uh, two of those tables uh, in this video and then the remaining two in the next one. And also I'll be adding foreign keys and primary keys constraints to these tables as well. So let's begin. The first table we are going to create is the employees table and you can um, see it right here. This is the employees table and uh, the document that I'm using here is also available for you to download and the link is given in the description box so you can download this document it contains um, the schema diagram of this uh, database it contains uh, explanations of all the tables in detail so you will find um, the names of the tables and you'll find the column names their data types and descriptions everything is available even the data inside the table is available so you can uh, take a look at that and I'd recommend downloading it before uh, beforehand so that you can use it while creating the database. And if you would like to continue uh, learning SQL, it is essential that you create this database since I will be using this in all my future videos on SQL. So if you know this database, if you have created it, then you can uh, practice all those queries in future uh, alongside so that's why it's better to create it now let's start and uh, start creating the first uh, first table which is the employees table to create this table we have to write the query in this manner create table employees and then one by one we will mention all the column names with their data types so employee id is numeric nine and uh, it says here that it's a unique employee identifier there's also a key symbol given next to it so this is a primary key and that's why we will write next to it primary key and space and put a comma and the next column is first name which is having a data type of variable character 10. the next one is the last name and this has a data type of variable character 20. Uh, don't get confused with different types of uh, data types. Most of them are similar. Uh, for example, numeric is the same as number. Variable character means you want to store alphabets as well as numbers, special characters and so on. And uh, if you have character data type, uh, you would be using it if you wanted a fixed uh, size of data. For example, this depth code is going to be of exactly five characters every time. So there is a character data type and not a variable character. So last name is done. Now depth code is a foreign key, but we will be adding all the foreign keys uh, in the end once we have created the entire database with all the data. So we'll leave it for now and we'll just give it a character data type. And then we have salary with numeric data type 9,2 and close the bracket and it says table created. We can describe it to see what it looks like and um, you can also check if it is uh, correctly created or not so that you don't face any problems later. So this table looks fine. Now since we have created the table, let us insert data into it. The data to be inserted is this. There are six rows. 
and uh, to insert the data we will be writing the insert query insert into employees and uh, mention all the column names that you have here so employee id first name comma last name comma depth code and salary and then you'll write down values and you'll mention all the column names once again with an ampersand before it this time this will allow you to insert several uh, rows at the same time without having to uh, write your query again and again so once this is uh, done you can put a semicolon and hit enter and we are ready to insert the first row for the first row we are going to write employee id 1 first name is al and because this is a character we have to put it it's a string so we have to put it in single quotes uh, be the leader once again single quotes then admin is once again in single quotes and salary is 70,000. You don't need to write 0, 0.00, that is insignificant. Hit enter. It says one row created. So to insert the second row, uh, you need to uh, press forward slash. So just hit forward slash and press enter and uh, it will start asking you for the values again. So this way you can just go on inserting. The second row is two with first name pi pi. Uh, last name is r squared. The depth code is a double c n t. And then forty thousand is the salary. And one row, one more row is created. Let's hit forward slash and enter another row. Three. The first name is Harry. The last name is hardware. The depth code is HDWRE. And the salary is 50,000. Hit enter. Again, it says one row created. Let's hit forward slash enter and insert the next row. So it is number four. First name is Susie. Last name is software. Then the depth code is CNSLT and the salary is 60,000. That too is created. Now let's insert the fifth row. Uh, first name is Abe, last name is advice. Depth code is CNSLT, salary is 30,000. Hit enter. And finally, let us enter the last row. Uh, first name is hardly and last name is aware. Now to insert a null value, you will type null uh, without using single quotes. So remember to insert null values, you need to type null without using single quotes. And then the salary, 55,000 hit enter and now since all the rows have been created we can go ahead and take a look at our table by writing select star from employees and you can see this is our data uh, i'd recommend uh, at this point that you take a minute and try to uh, verify the data that you have right here instead of proceeding directly so that if there are any spelling mistakes or errors that you have made, uh, those errors can be corrected before you, we start um, adding foreign keys in the next video. Also notice here that wherever I have written null, that null value will be a blank space in the table. And that's exactly how it should be. If you are getting the word null, uh, if the word null is appearing here in this position, then that means you inserted null as a string and not a null uh, value. So just uh, take care of that. So this table is ready. Now, once you have uh, ready the table, I would recommend uh, implementing the commit command. Just write commit and semicolon and press enter. You'll learn more about this command um, 
in the last video in SQL where I will explain transaction control commands. Uh, but I'll tell you what commit does uh, in a very simple manner. Commit um, allows you to save your data. If you do not to commit, it's possible that some of the data will be gone the next time you open your SQL plus uh, software. So in order to avoid that, uh, I'd recommend that you um, run this commit command after creating uh, every table. So employees table has been created and let's clear the screen and now proceed to create the next table which is departments. It looks like this. So first we will create the table and then we'll insert the data. So create table departments and we will add all the column names. First column is code with character five data type. And this is a primary key. So we'll write down primary key next to it. Uh, next we have name, which is a variable character 13. Uh, next we have manager ID. Now this is a foreign key, but we are not going to add foreign keys right now. So you can leave it uh, for now. We'll do it in the next video. And then we have the sub depth of column, which has a character five data type. So table is created. Let us view the schema of the table. It looks like this. You can see code is not null, which means it's a primary key. And uh, all the data types are exactly as mentioned. Uh, you can see that numerical will always get converted into number and uh, that's all right. Now let's insert data into it. So the data to be inserted is given right here in the document. We are going to insert these uh, four rows into it. So let's quickly clear the screen and insert into departments. Now mention all the column names as they are in the table. Sub depth of. And then write down values and mention all the column names again, but this time with an ampersand before it. And then close the bracket, hit semicolon, and you're ready to insert the first row. So first we are going to insert admin uh, description. The name of this department is administration. The manager ID is one. Uh, now this sub depth of is null. So we are just going to write null without single quotes. And it says one row created. So we hit forward slash and enter, and we are going to insert another row. So this time it is a double C N T. And then we have accounting as the name of the department. And manager ID is two, and admin is the sub department. And again, another row created. Hit forward slash, and let's insert the next row, which is uh, HDWRE. The name of this department is hardware. Uh, manager ID is three, sub depth of is CNSLT and let's hit enter. Now, once again, let's hit forward slash and insert the last row, CNSLT, which stands for consulting. Um, the manager ID is four and the sub depth of is admin. And that's it, all the rows have been inserted. We can now take a look at uh, what our table looks like. Let's do select star from departments. And this is what the table looks like. Once again, take a minute to uh, check the data you have inserted so that it's all correct and that there are no spelling mistakes. If there are spelling mistakes, you might face trouble later on while adding primary keys. So I'd recommend that you be very careful uh, in whatever you're writing, even uh, because the tables are not, uh, table names and column names are not case sensitive. 
but the data inserted inside is definitely case sensitive. So it creates a problem when you try to create a foreign key when uh, spellings are not matching. Uh, even capital and small letters are not matching, then also it would create a problem. So just be very careful of that and take your time and create these two tables. And I'll be back in the next video with the remaining two tables and we will also add the foreign keys. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.